What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build It video. Go ahead, like, subscribe. You know what I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna cut it short. But basically, um, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so for the last couple of months, I've been recording videos. As you can see, I've recently uploaded like 10 videos. Those have been up for a while, but I didn't realize that the privacy was set to unlisted. I don't know why it was automatically um, uploading them with that privacy setting set like that. But anyway, so if you guys are wondering why you have an overload of videos coming in, that is why. Um, that being said, I'm going to try to get this one out today. And I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit more about the um, feeder cities because I noticed that there was a comment on one of my videos. <clears throat> now, the feeder city, let's say that you... Um, you have, a, you have your main mat, your uh, main city. And, you know, you, you just watched my video and you're like, shit, you know, I, I messed up big time and I'm not too far in and I want to restart. There's a couple of things that you're going to want to take into account before, re before restarting. Now, one of the things is going to be um, the amount of mayor's buildings that you have unlocked because anytime that you restart the only thing that you can't replace like you can always you know upgrade your storage again or buy trees again or water or whatever the only thing that you cannot get back are these contest of mayor's buildings these are earned through the mayor's pass so like this one is a contest of mayor's building and you know this one and a lot of them um from back before they started this new mayor's pass they were actually really cool looking so that is the reason why i did not restart my city when i screwed mine up big time um because i didn't want to lose all those buildings so if you are somebody who's been playing the game for quite some time and you have some decent buildings that you'd like to hold on to i recommend not restarting however if you are perfectly fine with the calm buildings and you know losing what you put into it um then by all means go ahead and restart <clears throat> now one thing is there's no one way to do a feeder city okay all a feeder city is is a city that feeds your main city so a lot of people will say you know should i keep what level should i keep my feeder at well that depends on what it is you want that feeder for so a lot of times what people really want it for is to farm rare items like storage and dozer. And in that case, you're going to want to keep it below level 19. Okay. If your feeder city is to help you for, for contest of mayors, you're going to want to keep it at whatever level that you want to be able to um, make items. So for example, we all know that you know, bread rolls can turn a decent profit. However, we don't want to take away from our flour production. So we try not to make cream very often. So a good thing that you can do with your feeder city is level it up to the level where you unlock cream and then just keep a constant um, flow of cream coming in from your feeder city. Now this can go for any item, right? So if you, um, if you, have your storage maxed out and your dozers maxed out and you just want that city to maybe that feeder city to I don't know add points to and what you can actually do is start doing assignments on your feeder city because you're low level so the competition is going to be very minimal in the contest of mayors and you can actually easily earn the top prize by just doing a few assignments here and there on your feeder city and you will be able to collect the the rewards from that and then transfer over to your main map now the frustrating thing is that you cannot transfer neo coins or cash so you can only transfer coins okay you can't transfer buildings or anything like that so keep that in mind as well now what you can do with the cash on your feeder city Let's say, again, this depends on what your feeder city is being used for, but let's say that you're using your feeder city for production and making coins. You're going to want to use that cash 
to unlock stores and things like that. Now, let's say that you have a feeder city strictly for rares. What do you spend your cash on? Well, probably rare items, right? So what you should do is wait for those cash packs to pop up. They pop up over here on the left-hand side, and they will say something like, um, you know, 10 of each storage for $200 or something. And when you're low level, those, are, those promotions are going to pop up a lot more frequently. And they are absolutely worth it. It is frustrating when you want to um, purchase, like, locks or cameras, and you're buying them one piece at a time because they're 18 cash, as you can see, for just one. So, you know, add, do the math on that. You're getting, like, nine of them for the price that you're getting 30 of them. So it, it's a pretty good deal. Um, another thing that somebody had mentioned in the comments, they asked if they could make their feeder city their main. Yeah, you can do that. It just depends on where you're at with your feeder city, you know, because a lot of times people don't put a lot into their feeder cities. Like they don't upgrade the storage all that much. They don't um, buy things, buildings, uh, stores, you know, just depending on what they're, they're using it for. But it typically, if you have, let's say your feeder city is like, I don't know, below level 18 or something and you have um screwed up your your main map and you'd like to restart and you've already got your fe feeder city in play just kind of go over everything that i've taught you guys so far and go okay you know uh, my storage is totally doable right now i can continue upgrading i haven't leveled up too far i haven't wasted any cash i've still got quite a few city achievements and just kind of analyze it and basically use your best judgment to say if it's worth making that your capital or your main versus leaving it a feeder city. All right. Um, that being said, I think I'm going to end this video on this particular topic. I did want to go ahead and mention that this right here, uh, we did do a new pass so th that started last night. Okay, so if you're noticing that you do not have the new pass is not available to you, you need to update your game. Okay, sometimes these updates are not mandatory. So people will realize after the fact that, okay, I had to actually go in and update my game. So if you're wondering, that is why. Now with this new pass, they have also added this soccer ball pass here. Now, these are earned, as you can see, there's little pink diamond plumb bob points here. And you get 20 pink diamonds every time you do one assignment. So those are going to add up, and then you'll be able to collect these rewards alongside your mayor's pass. Always keep um, a good eye on when this pass ends. And what I do is I hold off on collecting the rewards until I can utilize those um, and match them up with assignments. So for example, right now I have the collect simoleons. I'm going to leave that there in case I get a collect simoleons task. Um, let's say that I get a key task. There's my keys if I need it. Um, now use your, obviously your best judgment to say, okay, you're never going to get a task that asks you to collect platinum keys. So you can go ahead and collect those right away. Buildings, collect those right away. Uh, War simoleons, same thing. Now, if you're hurting for storage, like all of us are, you're going to want to hold off on collecting your dozer and storage parts until maybe, you know, just add them up in your head. And that way you don't have that taking up unnecessary space. But make sure that you do not let the pass expire. Because if you do, without collecting all your rewards, you will forfeit those rewards. Okay? So hopefully that helps you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this video out. Um... If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I apologize for my my stupidity in <laughs> not uploading the videos um, with the public privacy setting. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get this out there.